You want to keep the edge on it. So if you look at your number four brush, there's kind of a nice edge that it creates. So we're just going to fill that in and we want that to have a little bit of a kind of diagonal on it. And we're a painting class with cocktails. So we go into restaurants all over the Twin Cities um, and set up our, our painting class. People order food and drink off the menu and uh, they have a great time learning how to paint. And we're going to keep going with the brown for the number four, but we're going to kind of hold on to our number three. The concept just kind of caught on. The two just fit well together. I think that um, people sometimes people are intimidated to paint or maybe wouldn't be interested in trying it, thinking they couldn't do it. And then, uh, but when there's you know um, food and, and, and wine involved, all of a sudden it's fun, it's entertainment, and you get people to try who maybe normally wouldn't. If you divide this. Uh, diagonal line on the right side, kind of in half. And so we all decided to go. I'm here with my three sisters. My sisters and I wanted to all get together and go ahead and try out the wine and canvas because we've never done it before and we'd heard it's a good time. It's a lot of fun. I'm not a painter and so this is my first time actually painting a canvas, so it's a good atmosphere. Yeah, I would put a little bit more yellow and then do the dry brush again. And just show up that night, we bring everything in for the painting class and we kind of transform the restaurants into an art studio. So, because you want it to essentially look like this, yeah. so it just blends together. Okay. I think it's great too, uh, well mainly because it's during the week, so it gives you an opportunity to go out and an excuse to get out after work and do this fun thing and have drinks or food and it's a good time. Pretty much almost every night of the week we're painting somewhere in the metro. So we work in Eden Prairie in a place called Biagi's. Down south in Burnsville yep. we go to Porter yep. Creek. And you're going about and, in downtown here we've done Porter and Fry and then Hell's Kitchen, Melting Pot. I've had a lot of friends tell me about it at work that they've gone and done it and had a really great time doing it and have returned and gone again. You know, I think it's just the excitement of being able to go out and have a good time with your girlfriends and have a drink and create something that you've done on your own. It's really a good idea, I think.